Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this custom node that will basically um, take in an array of actor classes and an integer for a drop rate. And what this will basically do is say, for example, if you kill an enemy and you want to have a random item drop and you want to give it a percentage, so like 45, for example, and you want a certain item to drop 45% of the time versus another item you only want to drop 5% of the time, um, this node will handle all of that logic for you, and all you need to do is call it once, and it will output the dropped item. So within the array, I have a little example one here. As you guys can see, I have five different items, and each of them, um, you're allowed to select this actor class here. I just selected a bunch of random things. Um, and then I gave them a drop rate, somewhere between 0 and 100. So for the first one, for actor, it's 45. Uh, blocking volume is 25. Cable actor is 15. Default pawn is 10. And an emitter is 5. So over here, I have this set up to basically just run on a continuous loop and print out the name of the dropped item. So if we sit here and we hit play, you guys can see that mainly we're getting actor, which is 45% of the time, followed by blocking volume, which was 25, cable actor 15, and every once in a while in there you'll see a default pawn or an emitter. And that's basically what this node uh, will do for you. All right, so let me show you guys how you can create this yourselves. Um, first, we're going to open up a blank project. Now that we have our blank project open, what we're going to do is right click here in the content browser. We're going to say create new C++ class. We'll scroll down to blueprint function library. Hit next. And I will call this loot box. And we'll hit create class here. And then we're going to wait for Visual Studio to compile. And now that Visual Studio has compiled, what I want you guys to do is take this um, line right here in the lootbox.h, that's the header file. We're going to take this right here, say Control C, and we're going to go up to the top, and I'm just going to paste it up here. And now we're going to come here. And I want you guys to copy the code um, above this dashed line here. So the first line all the way down to this last curly brace with the semicolon. We'll copy that. And we are just going to paste that right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this line that we copied, Control X, and we are going to replace this line right here. Okay, and that should have um, this line named after whatever your project is, and then whatever you named your blueprint library C++ class should be right here. Now we're going to go into our C++ file, and then we're going to come back here, and you're going to take everything below the dashed line, Control C, and we will just paste it right in here. And now we're going to go up here to build and say build solution. And we will wait for Visual Studio to compile. And now that we're done with that, you should see build one succeeded here. If you didn't, just make sure you copied and pasted properly or that you have everything renamed to whatever you guys called your blueprint function library. All right, so we're done with the Visual Studio part here. And now we can come into our third person character, wherever you guys want to use this. And I'm just going to run this off of event tick here. We'll search for random drop. And you should see the node come right up. We'll hook that up here. And we're going to need to give it this array. So we'll just right click and promote to variable. We'll call this our loot array. And we can compile, and then we can add a few elements here. I'll just put in five. And you guys can go through 
and add whatever you want to spawn in here and give them a drop rate. The only caveat is um, all of the drop rates do need to add up to 100. So you can have zeros in there. Um, that doesn't matter. But if they don't add up to 100, the node will fail out. And that will be your only warning. So that's what this Boolean here does. So if we hold B and click, we can make a branch node here. And off of the false, we'll print a string. And it will say not equal 100%. And off of true, we will just print, let's say get display name, and we can print that. So we'll just be able to see um, which actors this node will be pulling. All right, now you guys can just give this whatever actors you want to spawn and whatever drop rates you want. So say the first one is 50. The second one will be 20. Third one, 20. And the last two we'll just put at 5 and 5. Now if we hit compile and save, we hit play, and you'll see it is randomly selecting a different actor based on uh, the percentage of drop rate. Now if for whatever reason you don't do the math right, and we'll say this is 6 instead of 5, hit compile, and if you hit play, you'll see it doesn't equal uh, 100 and then you're just going to return a null um, actor. So that's how you know you, you need to go in and fix something in your array. But other than that, you can drag right off of here and spawn an actor from class and give it the transform and drop your actor in the world wherever you guys want. All right, guys, I hope you thought that was helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. All right, see you guys later.